Hello, and thank you so much for inviting me into your home tonight for this decor consultation. Yeah, we've been working together for a while, and we're finally at the final piece for your living room and your dining room. We have all of the furniture and the tables and the rug and window coverings all set. So now we get to have some fun looking at uh, accessories and decor that you might want to for your room. Okay, so I brought with me a variety of items from our showroom that I think that you will enjoy based on the discussions that we've had about the color scheme of your room, which is like blue, gold, neutral, um, bringing maybe some colorful plants and things like that. So um, I'm going to show you everything that I brought for you, and then we can discuss which pieces you feel are the best for your home and I will leave them here with you and uh, you can enjoy them and arrange them however you'd like and if you need help deciding where everything should go I'm happy to help you with that as well. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to show you is some candles. Now, we have these beautiful gold candles. These are a medium size and they're a good uh, bit of width around. Now it's up to you but typically these types of candles would be more for decor as opposed to actually burning them. So what I would suggest is we have something like this right here. This is a very, very simple base for a candle this size. And you're able to put a little tea light candle into there and the little uh, dots around here will show the light and have like little flickers all around the room, which is very fun. I like that this is a multi-purpose candle base. That way you have a variety of uses. So you have it just by itself as decoration on its own or you can place this candle into it and use it as decoration. Or place a tea light candle into here and you can do both real or the flameless candle tea lights. If you don't prefer to actually burn a candle, you can place a little tea light that is one of those like plastic flickery ones that doesn't actually use fire. Many people prefer that. So the choices are all over the place, which I think is good. You have plenty of options. I do have two of these candles. These are very sturdy, very, um, very bold in a neutral way, and that makes no sense, but it's, um, like they're bright, shiny colors, but they're monochrome, and you could place them in different areas of the room. You can choose to have them on these bases. Or you can just 
if you're if the bases are just not your thing you can just sit them next to each other or separate they are stylish enough that you don't need to put anything else with them if you don't want to which is always good now if um, the in-your-face gold is not for you I also have this very 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 simple white like off-white white candle this can be accessorized with a variety of different um, plates bases uh, candle holders uh, because it's plain you could even put a candle like this into the gold um, candle holder and just sort of mix and match the white and the gold so it's not too much of one color we have quite a few of these in stock so if you wanted to place them around the room on different tables or um, countertops or anything like that it's no problem we can definitely get you as many as you need so that is this simple very 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 simple candle but sometimes the simple things are best okay now the next thing that I'm going to move on to is some plants now I know that we've talked a lot about this that you have um, pets animals in the house and so it's very important to you that you have um, artificial plants so I went ahead and picked them out to show you it's very understandable there's a lot of people now who have animals and some plants can be harmful to them or they just don't want the upkeep of watering and leaves falling on the ground and things like that so even people who don't have pets will gravitate toward the artificial ones so don't feel too bad about that okay so the first one I have I have a few of them the first one I have is this right here This is a rather dense plant. It does not have any color to it. It just has these little white like tips or buds. Little like the beginning of a flower. It does keep it very neutral which we have discussed that's what you're looking to do is to be very neutral I love the way this feels <laughs> um, we have many of our artificial plants in stock as well so you won't have to worry about um, how many of them you would like so this first one is definitely much more of a full bushy robust um, thicker plant it's a little bit of white the second one that I have is this one right here and this one is much more of a traditional grass. I, I really like this one because um, in the light and from far away, it actually looks pretty legit. Um, I think that it has like a, a good thickness and a good like imitation for 
this grass that just goes straight up. It is fun to put your fingers through, like kind of like you're putting fingers through your hair or like tassels of some kind. This is a very classic option, very simple. Um, never gonna go out of style. Green grass. I think it's very pretty. I think it has just enough of the fullness and the body, but without being overwhelmingly fake. So I wanted to show you something which I think is a great option that we offer our clients. And that is, if you'll notice, both of these plant options that I showed you, they have the same base and the bases are the same size. So not, even though they're very different from each other, with this being a lot bigger and fuller and this being a lot more like streamlined and, and simple, the bases of them, like the, the bottom here, are identical. And the reason for that is because what we do is we offer a variety of plant pots. This is a gold one, and this is a very simple um, like slate or gray one. And so because of that, you could decide um, which um, plant you want to use in which one. So let's say you uh, choose this one. You can put it in here and it fits perfectly and it looks really nice. Or you could take the same plant and put it into here. And it also looks beautiful. You can mix and match. You can change your mind. If your decor for that room ends up shifting in a different direction, uh, you don't have to get rid of the plants that you love. You can contact us or stop by our showroom and purchase new vases that go better with your decor. And that saves you a lot of money and um, a lot of aggravation, especially if you choose plants and accessories that you really love and you want to have for a long time. So I recommend that this one goes in here and that this one goes in here. These are not the only bases that we have. Um, there's a variety of every color you can think of. Pinks and blues and yellows and coral and white and anything you can think of so that no matter what your decor is, it will fit. So what I would do is concentrate on the plants themselves this part of the plant that you like the best and then um, we can always find you a vase that goes with it. Okay. Now we do have um, we do have one other plant that I wanted to show you which doesn't um, it's not part of that series and that is this one right here. So this one is not part of that series with the changeable bases. This is um, a different manufacturer, a different designer that we work with. So this is a very simple, very simple uh, white vase. So it goes with everything, which is always good. And then it has this beautiful and very realistic uh, green leaf plant attached to it. I like it. 
the sounds that this plant makes. I think this is a bright, vibrant, and very pretty option. You can pull on the leaves and move them around a bit if you want to sort of rearrange them. If you want to spread them out a little bit. This plant does tend to be a bit more realistic overall than the other ones. Um, if you can look in here, it is, um, I can't really see, uh, you can kind of see there is some like hyper realistic soil in there. It um, it's all fixed in there, so you can't take this out and move it to another base. It's all one unit. Uh, but even though you can't switch the bases out because of the fact that it's white, I don't think you'll have to worry about that because it'll go with everything. So that is, that is your last option that I'll show for plants. Okay, so um, now what I would like to show you are just a few accessories for the living room area that you might consider. We have one that's a little bit more unique and one that's very streamlined and simple. I'll show you the unique one first. And that is this right here. I know that you have mentioned that you really like uh, geometric shapes um, and we discussed the simple clean lines that you were looking for with your decor. So. This right here is, it is gold, which is the color that you had indicated that you wanted as an accent. You have a couple options with this. There is a circle here, so you can hang it from somewhere. You can also place it on a table. Uh, a side table or a countertop and you can place whatever you would like in here. Some people do like terrariums, like little rocks or like a little landscape. Some people do a candle. Some people that are very simplistic will just leave it as is. This is Definitely unique, could be a conversation piece. Um, it has solid glass walls all the way around, except for right here, which is where you would place whatever you wanted to display. I know that this is not for everyone, and you have to get a little creative about what you want to put in there, but it fit all of the criteria of what you were asking for, so I thought I would show it to you. And then the last piece for the living room is this. This is a uh, very simple gold frame. So this is by the company Parisian Home. And you can see that it features a simple base, just a very simple base to hold the weight, and then a gold frame. Within here is the photo and you can see that it's um, either four by six or six by eight. 
So you have the option to either fill the entire frame, like a whole area with a photo, or you can do what it looks like on here and actually just have a four by six photo hang, like floating in the middle of the class. We have um, more of these as well. If you want to put different pictures of your family, friends, pets, whatever you choose to put on different um, countertops or um, just on a display uh, counter. If you'd like to put like a display above your TV or whatever you want to do, we have many of these in stock, but I thought it was the perfect representation of what you asked for with the simple clean lines and gold and I know that you have plenty of memories that you would like to display. Okay. All right, so just quickly, um, we discussed that your, uh, the way that your home is set up is that the living room and dining room is all one room, correct? So you have a um, you kind of want to transition the style a little bit into that other room. You don't want to just pretend it's separate and it doesn't kind of flow, if that makes any sense. So um, what I did was I brought some items that we can kind of just start the discussion about what kind of decor and accessories that you would like in your dining room. Since you have a lot of wood in that area, I did focus on wooden decor and also brought in some of the gold from the, um, the living room that we're working on. I just have a few things to show just to get the conversation started and then we can have a full consultation another time. Okay, so the first thing that I have is this uh, candle. So the candle has all of the gold accents from the other room, but brings in another color, which is bright red. We have this gold lid. Very easy to take on and off. And then we have nature accents all around the candle in gold. So you can see that we have some acorns and leaves and the um, uh, candle is scented with um, cranberry, apple, clove, and essential oils. So it's a very deep scent, but if um, if you're not necessarily going to burn them, you could still have this uh, featured on your table and no one would know if you had burnt it or not. So, um, I've tried to put a good amount of thought into this as far as the gold and then the nature patterns with the artificial plants and sort of tying it all in, so I hope you enjoy that. And the next thing that I have is this. You might be wondering what this is. This is a salt so as you know, um, on tables, your dining tables, anywhere that you typically eat, many people, they have salt and pepper shakers. However, one fun design element that I thought that we could bring in here is a salt And it's very simple. It is a bamboo wooden box that slides. It's latched with a magnet 
and then it slides open and inside you have your salt. In this case it is pink Himalayan sea salt but it doesn't matter which kind is in there. Whatever type you typically use for uh, you know, seasoning your food. I like the wooden sounds and the unique uh, way to hold the salt. Easily slides. closes back up and when you're not using it you can just set it on your table and have it be a nice accent with the other things on your table okay the last thing I have for you is something interesting to have on your uh, kitchen or dining room table and um, almost like a centerpiece if you'd like or possibly somewhere else in your kitchen dining area. So I have wooden elephants. These are hand carved. These are beautifully finished with a high gloss. So we have this one here. And then we have this one here, same thing. It is a tiny bit different, but same design, same finish, same high quality craftsmanship. And what you do is you take them on the table and you place them next to each other and they create a heart. with their tusks or their trunks. So you can cross them different ways. You can make them like that where it's a little bit open or you can go like that where it's like an exact heart. But you basically put them together and the way that they set has like a very beautiful like twisting of the trunks to form a heart. They have pads on the bottom of them so they will stick in place, they won't slide around um, and like I said they are a very high quality I think it's uh, a beautiful little accent to have where, you know, separate, they're very beautiful and very well made and then you put them together and they create something very beautiful. So that's just something to think about. So, um... Again, I thank you so much for inviting me here so I could show you some of the uh, decor recommendations that I have for you. Very shortly, um, I can make sure that whatever you choose I have delivered uh, soon, as soon as I can. And then we can make an appointment for any of the other rooms that you might want to um, accessorize, like your bathroom or bedroom or office or whatever you'd like. So I am always available to help you and um, I'm going to let you kind of look through everything and decide what you would like to keep and how many quantities of everything that you need. Okay, so I'm going to give you some time and um, thank you again.